How to exercise your bull terrier and any other dog. Exercise is physical activity that is done with the intention of improving or maintaining physical fitness and overall health. Exercise helps increase strength, flexibility, cardiovascular endurance and overall physical and mental health. The goal is to improve the physical condition and health of the dog. A relaxed 20-minute walk is not enough to benefit a dog's physical condition. Lack of exercise is the number one cause of unwanted behavior and health issues in dogs. Exercise also benefits the relationship between dog and dog owner. Doing something enjoyable with your dog and trying new things together strengthens the bond between dog and dog owner. In order to get the maximum benefits out of an exercise program, it has to be whole, as whole as possible. This means it has to contain endurance training, resistance training and balance and coordination training. Remember that the dog's physical condition should always be taken into consideration before starting any form of exercise. Endurance training to improve and maintain good cardiovascular function and health. Resistance training to strengthen the dog's muscular system. It is important for the protection of the joints. When muscles are strong, they provide better support for the joints, reducing the stress and strain during physical activity. Balance and coordination training will improve a dog's ability to control their body, their balance and coordination. The dog will be able to perform physical tasks more efficiently and effectively. Balance and coordination training also offers mental stimulation for dogs, as they learn new skills and engage in challenging activities. The approach to creating an exercise program is to create blocks. This means emphasizing on a specific type of exercise for a specific period of time. For example, emphasize on resistance training for a month. On a following block, emphasize on balance and coordination training. Any and every training block must include some form of cardio. Optimal heart function is very important, so cardio is included in all training blocks. Before we suggest exercise you can include in your training plan, we will refer to the basic training rules. Always follow these rules to avoid injury and make the best out of your training plan. Warm up for 5 to 10 minutes before exercise begins. Cool down for 5 to 10 minutes at the end of every training session. Choose activities the dog enjoys. Every training plan should be customized to the specific needs and physical condition of the specific dog. Gradually increase the duration and intensity of the exercise. Every week has two recovery days. Depending on the dog's physical condition and exercising plan, this may vary and more days may be needed. Stretching exercises are necessary two or three days per week depending on the intensity and frequency of the exercise. Please note that the exercises we suggest are for adult dogs in good health condition. Before starting a new exercising program, we recommend that you always consult with your vet to confirm your dog's health condition is up to it. Endurance training is split in two categories, slow steady cardio and high intensity interval. For the first category, you can choose any of the following, swimming, walking, and running. The goal is for the exercise to last more than 20 minutes and gradually increase duration in analogy to the dog's improving endurance. 
For the second category, high intensity interval training, the most popular exercises you can use in your plan is to play fetch or flirt ball. Depending on your dog's physical condition, the duration varies from 5 to 20 minutes. If your dog's condition permits it, you can play fetch on a slope to increase difficulty. Resistance exercises you can easily use are tug of war and weight pulling. For tug of war, the dogs must be trained in basic obedience and know the out command. For weight pulling, you will need a weight pulling harness and for weight you can use a tire or a backpack with some weight inside. For balance and coordination training, you can join an agility club or work with what you have available. For example, a fallen tree log in the woods can be used for balance exercise. You can even make simple obstacles yourself using wooden planks. When exercising your dog, remember to always follow the aforementioned rules and train to the dog's capacity with safety. Remember to like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.